If you want to lock apps on Samsung Galaxy A17, then in that case we can use the secure folder that allows us to create a separate environment which is of course locked behind a password. You can set up the password and you can add apps of your choice over there. So to do so, we're gonna open settings. Let's actually go back to settings. And over here we need to proceed to security and privacy, scroll down and go to more security settings. And then here we have our secure folder. So press continue. Once again, press continue in order to grant permissions. And now we need to wait for the secure folder to be created. This can take like a minute or so. And while it is creating, I can quickly um, try to explain how the secure folder works. So uh, the secure folder is like a separate environment, like a separate instance, like having a phone inside a phone, some sort of thing, uh, where the access is of course uh, locked, you create the password, you can also use biometrics, and wherever you add into that secure folder, it has its own data. So if you move apps over there, well, you cannot really move apps, uh, but you can install apps in the secure folder and of course they can have different uh, data that you may have in apps that you have outside of the secure folder so this means that you can duplicate these apps you cannot really move them you cannot uh, transfer uh, literally everything that you have right now into the secure folder in terms of apps and uh, continue using the app but you can install the app within the folder and set it up as you had before and you can continue using it and in the same time you can also uninstall the main app that you have outside of the secure folder without removing it from the secure folder itself all right so uh, once we have the lock type of course we need to choose our password in my case i'm going to use a simple pin code over here if it's easy to guess, if your password is easy to guess, then you will see this information, but we can use that anyway. Enter your password twice in order to confirm. And also you can use your Samsung account in order to be able to reset the password in case you forget it. But in my case, I don't really want to do that. In your case, you might want to do so. All right, and like, a, like you can see over here, uh, you can also set up fingerprints, for example, but I, I'm not really bothered with that right now. All right, so here is our secure folder. This is how it looks like. Over here we have uh, such apps like Gallery, Calendar, Notes, etc. And these apps are, of course, empty because, like I said, they are separate instances and so on and so forth. In order to open the secure folder, you can find it in the app drawer and you can easily open it. You can tap on these three dots over here on the right side in order to find a bunch of different options, including lock and exit. So you can exit the secure folder and then once you try to open it, you will have to enter the password. So now let's try to um, to lock the app. So what we can do is we can press this plus button over here. And now we can find apps that we have installed already from this list. And we can select the app that we wish to use. So let's say in my case, I'm going to use Spotify. Let's say I want to uh, set a password for Spotify. So I added the app over here into the secure folder. And now if I uh, open it over here it will not have my account etc because i have to sign up and so on and so forth whereas the uh, spotify app that i have over here is still the same as it was before i uh, decided to use the secure folder however in this case if you try to for example uninstall spotify over here there we go then you should be able to still find it in the secure folder as you can see it's still there i can still open it i can still use it if you don't have an app installed on your smartphone yet, if you didn't install an app yet that you wish to have locked, then you can still press this plus button and over here we can download an app from the Play Store or the Galaxy Store. So you can go over here. Of course, you need to sign into the uh, Google account and you may be wondering, well, you already are using a Google account on your Samsung. But like I said, this is a separate instance. Uh, different environment um, I don't know how else I can say it but essentially you need to pretty much create uh, sign into your account over here and you can technically work uh, use your work account for that and so on and so forth so this is how it works so now if I try to since I uninstalled Spotify if I try to use it over here I need to go to the secure folder and I need to well unlock the access to the secure folder to be able to use the app I can also press and hold my finger on the app over here in order to, for example, add to the home screen so I have easier access to this app so I don't really have to go to the secure folder itself all the time. And like I said, over here we have additional options and it is worth checking out settings where we can, for example, find this option, auto lock secure folder, where we can set to each time I leave an app so you don't have to manually lock and exit the secure folder. Every time you exit the folder, if you try to open it, you will have to enter the password and the same goes with the 
app, of course. As you can see, I have to enter the password. And um, what is also worth mentioning, I believe, is that um, even if you, for example, have an app over here and outside of the secure folder, if you uninstall something from the secure folder, then of course, uh, just like uh, the other way around, it is just gone from the secure folder only. So you don't have to worry about uh, losing some data um, by accident, at least as long as you know what you are doing. But that is essentially it. This is how we can lock apps on Samsung Galaxy A17. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe.